Hello, I am Raziel. We are a week closer to the Old World release and a week closer for me to annihilate the enemies of Chaos in the name of Khorne. The Empire is really an interesting faction. When they are not fighting everyone else, they are fighting themselves. The bog standard human faction of Warhammer Fantasy and it kind of looks like they may have inspired other human factions in other games and fantasy settings. Steampunk, magic and religious celebrity are all part of the Empire in the Old World. Now, first their lore is great with so many stories and books from the Sigmar trilogy of the Time of Legends series by Graham McNeil where we see the young God King rise up to rule the humans and fight off their foes to the Empire at War books by Nick Kime. There is a whole library of books written about the Empire. Now even the Blood Bowl books are worth reading to see the day to day of common citizenry as they enjoy their favourite sport. As I am talking about Warhammer of the Old World, you can't have the Empire as the first campaign as the first campaign is about the Border Princes. And just so you, if you're really interested in the lore, there's Vermintide which lets you run around and look at the towns and cities of the Empire and have a good exploration of that. Right now, as of this video, the Empire models are some of the cheapest on the Games Workshop website, with the general being £12 and your core troop choice of handgunners being 20 You can literally build a decent army for very little. I mean, like the most expensive one is £40 and that's the general and griffin. And the only models that can't really be used are the college wizards. As kind of the College of Magic hasn't yet to be created as this is all before the Chaos Incursion, the Great War of Chaos, and Teclas doing his thing. Talking of the models, you have a diverse range of models. From handgunners to knights, tanks, yes, the steam tank was invented at this point, and mighty griffins. The Empire really encompasses what an army can be, especially for a fantasy setting. But you don't have much magic, so no wizards really or you can't use a Luminarch of Heesh, as those are yet to really come into existence in the lore. You can use the Griffin, the Steam Tank and Handgunners, and Flagellant, the Empire is for those who want an army that can cover all bases at a low cost financially. Like I said, it's ridiculously cheap how... It is really ridiculously how cheap the Imperial Empire is. The best bit for Warhammer Fantasy battle models, most of the Empire ones are still available on the Games Workshop website. So for once, Games Workshop dragging their butts on creating new models for a faction has worked out well for those looking forward to, a, to the Warhammer the Old World. Looking through the old army books, only a couple of units are missing from the Games Workshop site. And you can grab an old Empire army book to use as a guide. As a guide to see what units you like the look of and not their rules and you can build your army in preparation of, for the old world yeah so it's all about how good they look and the models look really good there is plenty to use as a centerpiece you've got the steam tank or the general on a griffin which is of course the old Carl Franz model but you know he is an emperor and a general who so really will still should still be able to be used in the game as griffins existed a range of diverse models as well you've got flagellants to pistoliers on horseback so you have either loonies in s melee combat or fast people shooting or just shooting like, it's like bikes from space marines but you know horses and flintlocks and other models look really good in my opinion i think they look great so there you go that is the empire and like you can't really have the old world without the empire as you know the time the year the calendar is based on the empires, all of them. Even if you look at the old army books, you'll see that the empire, they will usually have, like the elf one and the Bretonian one had two dates. And it'd be like the Bretonian date and the empire calendar, the empire calendar being the most important. And of course you can make a really good army for a really low class, because you can have heavy artillery, which is great for Warhammer Fantasy. You can have the tank, which is like the artillery is one of the cheaper ones, like the Hellstorm rockets, I think they're called, are really low cost. The 20 pound, like, if you were to do, you could do, yeah, you could do a decent army for 150 pounds that would cover you for most games and it would cover most factors. Again, this is about what they look like and they all look really good. And 
it's always a bonus when the models are cheap too, especially for Games Workshop. So yeah, there you go. Getting started for Warhammer the Old World via Empire. Like, honestly, I'm really excited about this. One of my favourite factions and they're really fun. And I like the fact that, you know, Games Workshop haven't really updated the models for a long time. And you can still use them. They still come, I think a lot of them may come on square bases, as that's what's advertised on the site there on their square bases. And that's it. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. It is a good video, um, I hope. And I'll see you all again soon. Uh, like, comment, and subscribe as always. What factions are you looking forward to? And there you go. Oh, yeah, Rayland Games, if you want up to 20% off your Empire models. Uh, Forbidden Planet, if you like comics. My comics, my merchandise, which is what everyone else says, t-shirts, etc, 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 etc. And of course, there is Patreon. But, as always, do not just give me money. Go and treat yourself something first, because it does support the channel anyway. And, you know, get yourself something nice just before people giving me money. But, you know, you can give me money, I'll be happy with that too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. I will burn this video out to 8 minutes, because I can. And I'll see you for the algorithm, of course. Leave a comment, and I'll see you all soon.